Good morning. Hi, Carrie from down in Texas. Thank you for joining me on this wonderful Monday. It is a cold, 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 rainy, overclass, overcast, dreary day here in Houston. But it's Monday, and you know me, I love Mondays because Mondays are our opportunity to start new. Start a new week, start a new project, reset if we've had a bad week. So, go grab your favorite drink and join me with your makeup tools too. Let's do this together. Let's get ready this morning on this week before Thanksgiving. Can you believe that? I truly cannot believe we are already looking at Thanksgiving. Uh, that to, to me, I'm just, I am blown away by that. It's just gone way too quickly. As you can see, I'm sort of wearing some fall colors today. Alright, so what have I done so far? Well, all I've done is wash my face like I normally do in the mornings. And I have put on my prep work, my um, e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer um, Primer and my Fix and Glow Primer. These two together are my holy grail. I just love them. They make my face feel revitalized and soft and supple. And there's just, there's just no other product that I have found that works that well for me. Alright, now we are going to come in and we are going to put on some tinted moisturizer, Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer, and I'm trying to be much more organized for you guys than I have been uh, looking back and critiquing some of my videos, and so I'm going to try to be a little bit more organized for you and do a little bit better job with my looking at you. So did you have a remarkable weekend? I tell you, I spent all of yesterday just spending it with my husband downtime and we watched movies and I cooked a big pot of stew. And we just needed some time to decompress. We've got a lot going on with him and me, actually. We, we both have procedures coming up, and so we both just really needed some downtime yesterday to just decompress and just be with each other and not have a million things to do. Not that we could have because it was raining all day yesterday. It's raining again today. I think if I'm not mistaken, he told me it's supposed to rain all week. So, oh joy. And I am going to turn my light down again because I think it's just a tad bit too bright again. Yep. Yep, that's much better. All right, so I put on my um, Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer, and now I am going to use my concealer. And the concealer that I used today was my e.l.f. Um, Hydrating Concealer in um, the lightest color. Um, let me see if I can find that name for you. I can never remember it. It is... Um, Gosh, it's so hard for me to see this. Sorry, guys, I cannot read it. But it is the very lightest, palest cons uh, color that they offer it at um, ELF. So now I'm just going to come in and I'm going to stipple this in. Just get that really good coverage. And 
work it into the areas where I want there to be some brightness, which is in my T-zone area along the middle of my face and my nose and up onto my forehead. And we'll just bring it down here a little bit what's on my brush. There was a um, makeup artist that I was watching over the weekend and she was talking about eyelid primer and the difference between eyelid primer and concealer and how her, when she puts on her eyelid primer, her um, eyeshadow does not crease. Now, I, I have never experienced that. Um, I, you know me, I, I don't buy a um, separate eyelid primer. I just don't think it's necessary for me. I don't have, you know, a lot of really significant um, eye discoloration in my eyelids. So, for me, it's just not something that I find is necessary. But as in all things with makeup, what works for me, guys, may not work for you, okay? Um, the whole purpose, in my opinion, behind doing makeup videos, makeup tutorials, sharing, getting ready, whatever, however you want to say what we're doing with these videos, we are trying to help, in my opinion, again, my opinion here, we are trying to help each other, just give each other different tools and different techniques that work individually for all of us. Um, what I do in my routine may not work for you and, and vice versa, but I feel like we're just sharing thoughts and ideas with our videos. And um, I don't want to ever feel like I am imposing my thoughts onto you. Um, they are just my thoughts and they're just what I have have experienced and still experience in my relationship and in my processes with my makeup routine. So, um, having said that, you know, nothing I do, do I feel like, you know, you have to follow these instructions. No, not, not at all. Uh, this is just work works for me, and I hope that if you have similar challenges uh, with a portion of your makeup routine, that I'm I'm able to give you another option or another technique that will make that challenge easier for you. That, in my opinion, is what we are doing, and why we do this is to help each other along the way. That's it. I don't feel like there's any other, any other um, process here but trying to help each other along the way and respecting each other's opinions and thought processes in that um, endeavor. So, having said that, there we go. So, I put on my um, Laura Mercier loose setting powder. I did change it out of a, my container because my container got big for my new makeup bag. I hope you got your drink. I do. I got my my trusty iced coffee. As you can see, um, I am wearing browns and um, rusts. And so we are going to use that palette for my lipstick and my eyeshadow. So today I'm using a really beautiful um, orangey lipstick and orange goes right with with people with brown eyes of course and this is a um, lucky 
I think it says Lucky Diamonds. This is a um, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. It came with the pink one. I couldn't find the pink one when I went to look for it, so I bought this orange one because I do wear a lot of oranges sometimes because of my brown eyes. I am using this beautiful shimmer palette today. This is a Makeup Revolution shimmer palette, highlighter palette, and I'm actually going to use it for my um, eyeshadow. I did use, before I forget, I did use my Adele eyebrow um, powder. I do love this palette very much. I'm going to keep it out because I'm going to use it to do um, the outlining of my eyes here in just a minute. I'm going to pick up the black in that. So let's come in with a um, smaller brush and I'm going to pick up the really pretty gold um, shimmer. And we're going to start that all over the eye. I'm going to put it up underneath my brow up here. Boy, we have a lot going on this week. A lot going on. I have an extremely busy week this week. Uh, between myself and my husband and our doctors and our procedures and uh you know how that is when you have a procedure done and you've got to go have all this post uh, pre-op stuff done and it just seems like it's never ending that's beautiful this is just a very very pretty goldy shimmer that i'm putting on it has a tint of orange to it and I'm just mixing that and adding that from all the way down on my lid all the way up to my brow bone. Then I'm going to come in with the darker orangey color in this palette and I'm going to put it right here in the transition area. I'm trying to, as you can see, um, accentuate that big bone that I have right here in my eye socket. I have a very big eye socket. And so I am picking up this area right here on that bone. And I'm accentuating that with my darker orangey shimmer color that I'm using here today. And as you can see, it works beautifully with the lipstick that I'm wearing, which is this beautiful shimmer from Charlotte Tilbury. Beautiful, beautiful. Just, you know, um, we've talked about this before. I am not a dramatic, you know, don't wear a lot of dramatic, especially for work. Just, I just like that classical look. Grace Kelly, Audrey Hepburn. That is my inspiration when it comes to makeup, and so that's kind of what I try to emulate in my day-to-day. -day. Okay little bit of fallout, so I am picking up my um, Revlon pressed powder. I'm using my triangular brush, a triangular powder puff, and I'm just coming under my eyes, and we are sweeping away that fallout. And we are also adding a little bit more brightness to the under eye. As I said, I did use my um, loose powder, my pink powder. I'm just going to come back over that with my white. In preparation for my contouring powder. I'm going to leave my, lip, my um, eyeshadow out because I may need... Um, I may need it again. In the meantime, I'm going to come in with a very fine brush and I'm going to pick up the black that's in my, no, I'm sorry, I'm going to use the brown today. I'm going to pick up the brown that's in my eyeshadow palette and I'm going to just go to my waterline and I'm outlining my waterline. with the brown. 
doing that on the top and the bottom. This, this, this accentuates your eye. It's like using a eyeliner, except I am horrible at eyeliners. I cannot use them. I've been doing makeup for 40 years, and it's just not something I have ever been able to master. So I've just, I don't, I don't even worry about it anymore because I get frustrated and what is the point in that? There is no point in that. Now I'm going to come back up and, and in this eyeshadow that I'm using and I'm going to pick up that darker color and I'm just going to kind of blend underneath the brown. Not on top of the brown, but underneath that brown that I just put on and we're accentuating. We're picking up that goldy color that is in my upper lid. And we are going to pick up that same really tiny brush and we're just going to come up here and we're going to create this little connection into, we're sort of making like a C here. Watch the shape of the brush makes. And we are just connecting the top and the bottom together by a little hook with this darker color. giving that look on the eye a little bit smokier look and bringing it out so you can see that it what that does then is it elongates my eye and it makes my eye look even wider and then let's just make sure we don't have any fallout I didn't see any but we're gonna just make sure sorry guys I have a really runny nose a little bit cold this morning. Okay, Laura, um, now we are using my trusty Milani contouring powder. This is in 01, and we're just accentuating this bone, big cheekbone right here, as you can see. I'm doing it on the top of the bone. I'm not doing it down here. I'm doing it on the top of the bone, and I'm carrying it up into my temple. Then we're coming down under here and we are just helping this natural shadow with a little bit of color. Make sure you blend this out really good people. You don't want to see a brown line there. That is not flattering. <laughs> I've seen that on people and trust me it looks horrible. Okay now blush. We are going to use today my Tarte Energy Blush. This is the dupe for my Christian Dior. You can see that. It's a beautiful color and I am almost out of this baby. I have got to go get some more. Maybe I just better order it online because I'm going to run out of time. In the next week I have too much to do, too many errands to run. And I think I'm just going to have to We've done all that, and we are going to now come in with my trusty eyelash curler. I have powder everywhere. I don't think so. I'm going to curl these babies. I was going to do my hair today, and I realized at 6.30 when I got up this morning that it was pouring down rain. And my hair is just as straight as my eyelashes, so if I do my hair in the morning and then I walk outside and it has any humidity whatsoever it just goes bleh <laughs> so I thought no nope, it's gonna stick it up in a ponytail again and let it be and um, it's just not worth the aggravation to get it all done and then in five seconds walk outside and it be completely gone and my effort gone along with it so 
we just put the baby up in a hair in a ponytail and be done it looks neat and nice and that's the main thing okay so we are using elf mascara and we have curled my lashes we are starting down at the bottom as I always do because this is where you have if you're just joining me and you're new to my channel this is how you can lock in your curl okay so you use your trusty eyelash curler and then you come in and you go to the bottom of your lash because that's where your curl is from your curler and you start at the bottom and you use the formula from the mascara to lock in that curl it acts like hairspray for your eyelashes now for me this lasts about 12 hours um, when I curl my lashes what I see is generally 10 to 12 hours depending on you know the day and all that kind of stuff and what I do normally is if I have an evening function and I don't completely redo my makeup which I don't do that very often if it's an important event yeah I will but if it's if, you know if we just have a dinner out or something I'm certainly not going to go to that effort but if we have an important event I will completely do redo my makeup but generally speaking I can just come in and um, touch up my makeup and recurl my lashes with the mascara on them and it does just perfectly fine I think that's because the elf elf formula is remarkable it's such a good product and um, I don't feel the need to have to completely redo my mascara because it is a really good formula and it lasts all day another important part of mascara for me anyways is the ease of getting it off I despise having to use tugging on my eyelashes to get my mascara off at night I just want it to just melt off and both the uh, elf products that I use both of them do that and I always wear elf black for my mascara because my eyelashes are so fair black is what I need to get my eyelashes to show up all right looks nice now let's just come down and let's work on these lower lashes here I'm not a big fan of, of, of huge mascara on the bottom just enough that your lashes show up some people can get away with that really heavy look on their bottom lashes I don't think it looks flattering on me and so I don't do it again you may do it and it may look great on you and that's what you want so my goodness go for it makeup should be what helps you feel and look your best do exactly that do and use the products and the techniques that make you be the be the best version of you and give you the most confidence because that's what it should do in my opinion makeup is a tool that helps bring out what is on the inside out okay and so what makes you feel good is what you should use because when you feel good you're going to look good and when in my opinion when you look good you're going to be confident and you're going to be able to get out there and you're going to be able to hit your home run and you're going to be successful and that's why we do what we do to help you 
have the very best life you can, live it successfully, and have it all. There is nothing wrong with wanting it all. That just means you're driven, that's all, and that you want the best in your life, and who doesn't want that? And that's what this channel and all of my channels are about, helping you successfully live your best life. Live it successfully and to have it all, to reach every goal that you can possibly reach that I can help you achieve. All right, so that's it for, the, for today, girls and guys. Thank you for joining me on this Monday before Thanksgiving. I hope you have a very productive week, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. And remember throughout the day to get up and get the blood moving. To Don't sit at your desk all day because that is not good for you. You need to get your blood moving throughout the day. And this is Carrie from down in Texas. Thanks for joining me this morning as we got ready. By the way, if you're voting for me in the Fab, Fab 40 contest, thank you for that. I so appreciate your effort, your support and your encouragement in this contest. And this round ends on Thursday, and in order to advance, you as a con contestant have to finish first in your round to get into the quarterfinals. So, please, if you would, vote this week. You get one free vote per day, and then if you wanna buy extra votes, that is your choice, and when you do that, all the money that you put into that system goes towards breast cancer research. So God bless everybody. Have a remarkable week. This is Carrie from down in Texas. If you would, hit the bell so you know the next time I post a video. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can join our community. And we all want to hear from you. So if you've got a, if you've got a technique and you want to talk about it, please reach out to me and let's talk about it. Let's let everybody know your technique too. That's what this community is about, sharing and helping each other be their very best. Have a wonderful day. See you in the next video.